And a pleasant good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to City Field. As the Mets play the middle game of their series against the Colorado Rockies. Single last night, six scoreless, and now Tyler McGill tries to match that today. And four pitches again. Not even close. And heading to first is number 19, Charlie Blackman. Ooh. Ooh. That hits him. And now the Rockies have two on. So McGill all over the place in this first inning. A walk and now a hit by pitch. And Jeremy Hefner is going to pay a visit. This ball is in the air to right. Marte in that corner is going to pull it down. Charlie will gallop to third. And it's first and third, two outs. The Rockies will hope Elias Diaz can come through. 2-2. Two -two. And this is a base hit to right by Diaz. He comes through yet again. And the Rockies take a 1-0 lead. He gets a fastball running in on the hands of Diaz, but he does what he's been doing all year. He uses the big part of the field, goes the other way, fights it off, and puts the Rocks up 1-0. So the last two for Austin Gomber have been stellar. Nimmo two for three, a double and a home run last night. He's hitting 3-11 against left-handed pitching. And the breaking ball hits softly. Gomber can't get it, and Nimmo is going to beat that out. And Nimmo's got an infield hit. That's his second of the majors, an infield hit. Here's Lindor, one for four last night. That's lined down the left field line. That's a fair ball. That's going to go into the corner. Nimmo racing to third. Gritchick plays the carom, and Nimmo's going to have to stop at third. Lindor cruises into second base with his 12th double of the year. And the Mets have second and third and one out. So here is Pete Alonzo. He's two for his last 19. And he gets a curveball and hits it down to third. McMahon's play will have to be to first. The run comes home, and the Mets tie the game at one. With one out, Tobar is at first. And we'll get now Britton Doyle up to the plate. This is a base hit to right center. And Tovar hesitated and will continue on to third. Little bloop single to right for Doyle. The Rockies have first and third and one out. Left-handed hitter Charlie Blackman against the right-handed pitcher McGill. Two strikes on Charlie. And he drives this ball with authority to left. And Pham lays out, makes the catch, tagging and scoring is Tovar. But Pham saved an extra base hit with a diving play. Behind in the count. Charlie Blackman gets it done. Two to one, Colorado. Brett Beatty is going to step up to 1 1. And that fastball is wide to left. Gritchick came up with it. Wonderful play by Randall Gritchick. Dives and makes the catch. What a grab by Gritchick again on a diving catch. This time in left field, Gritchick robbing Beatty of a base hit. But Alvarez gets on base to kickstart the third inning for the Mets. He's back to the top of the order for Brandon Nimmo. Nobody out. Pitch. Line the other way. It's a base hit right in front of Gritchick. He stops it. Alvarez to second. And Nimmo on at first base. So the Mets, with some line drives, have first and second with nobody out in the bottom of the third inning. And here's Starling Marte. Pitch lefty to righty. He shows Bunt, drops it down towards third. McMahon picks it up, whips it to first base accurately for the out. Castro there to cover. But the sacrifice moves Nimmo to second and Alvarez to third with one out. And here's Francisco Lindor. Lifts and fires. Lindor rolls it to short. Tovar slides to his right. This will score a run. He fires across in time to get Lindor. But Alvarez scores from third, and the Mets have tied the game on Francisco Lindor's RBI ground out. It's 2-2 in the bottom of the third. So McGill kind of revisiting what we saw in the first inning, Corey. Two on, one out with C.J. Crone coming up. Again, the 2-2. And Crone goes down swinging. Better slider by McGill. Swung on it, missed strike three. Got him with a slider. And McGill continues to battle. That's his fourth strikeout. Two men away, and Diaz will be next. And this ball lined to center field. Diaz comes through yet again. Here comes Gritchick around third, heading home. And the Rockies take a 3-2 to two lead. And the extraordinary start for Elias Diaz continues. It's his 18th RBI, put the Rocks on top. And that's going to be all for Tyler McGill. One more big out to get, and he couldn't secure it. A four-pitch walk to begin the sixth inning for the Rockies, and Ezekiel Tovar up to the plate. One for two for Ezekiel Tovar, singled scored second inning. This ball high and deep left field. If it's fair, it is gone. It is a fair ball. Two-run home run, Ezekiel Tovar, his second of the year. And the Rockies take a 5-2 to two lead. Fair ball, it's a home run. Just cleared the foul pole down that left field line. And the Rockies have taken a 5-2 to two lead. Bryant, Crone, and Diaz do up against Nagosik, who got the last out of the fifth. 3-2 from Nagosik. 
And he struck him out. The breaking ball to get Bryant. Second strikeout for Nagosik. One down in the seventh. 2 2 coming to Crone. And he struck him out. Came inside with the fastball. Back to back strikeouts for Nagosik. Two down in the seventh. From the belt, the 0 2. Check swing. He went around. Strike three. Nagosik keys the side. He gets Bryant, Crone, and Diaz and posts a big fat zero in the top of the seventh. So with two men away, Francisco Lindor will be the better. And Lindor lines one. That's a base hit. Second hit of the day for Lindor. So he mixes in a single <laughs> with all those extra base hits. And the Mets have a two out base runner for Alonzo. 3 1 coming. And Pete takes his walk. And now the Mets will get the tying run to the plate. A little bit of a problem. Rockies up 5 to 2. Daryl Scott, Rockies pitching coach. So that would ensure that they're going to keep Bird in the game, which means the Mets will have the matchup they'd want in the lefty McNeil against the right hander. 0 2 pitch, swing and a miss. He got him in three pitches. Jake Bird jumped into the air after that strikeout. And we go to the ninth with the Rockies leading at 5 2. Pierce Johnson, who's taken the mound for the Rockies here today, and the opportunity to get a save. He's 4 of 4 now. He is to the outside corner. Beautiful curveball, strike three. Baby not happy with Alex McKay. One out. So one out is nobody on. Now Mark Canna, who's 0 for 3 today, hitless in his last nine at bats. And that's shot the other way, and it's a fair ball. Going up against the sidewall, Canna's got a base hit. Just squeezed that curveball down the line and kept it fair. And the Mets have a one-out base runner in the ninth. Luis Guillorme will bat for Eduardo Escobar. There it is, frozen, strike three, two outs. Strike three called with the curveball. He does it to the second Met in this inning. So it's left to Vogel back to try and keep this going, batting for Alvarez. This is hooked to second, and it's an easy play for Castro, and the Rockies win this late afternoon Saturday affair in New York by a final score of 5-2. to two. They got outstanding pitching.